you guys it's ivory and i wanted to help you guys especially my beginners out there and give you some tips 101 about basically just the basics of makeup so let's get started so the first thing that i like to do before i start my makeup is of course just move my hair out the way because i just don't want it to be in my way like i want my main focus just to be on my face Okay, so next what I like to do is prime my face. Primer is very important because this is the key, the key thing that makes your makeup last longer and make your makeup application completely just smoother. So yeah, I like to prime my face. Just gonna apply a dime size amount. Okay, so now what you guys want to do is color correct. Color correct is optional depending on what type of skin you have. See, I have a lot of dark marks. I have hyperpigmentation and I have hypopigmentation. So I do color correct to cancel out just all my dark marks and all my white spots on my face. As you can see over here, I have, as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see, but I have hypo pigmentation covered by hyperpigmentation and I just use this orange correcting concealer to cover it up so next I'm just gonna blend out the concealer with my fingertip I do this because I believe that the moisture from your fingertips helps the product move around and just smooth out a little bit better than a brush now I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Doing Smooth foundation and apply that all over my face using my fingertips. Now when you pick out a foundation, it's important that you pick out a foundation according to your skin type. Now most of the time I just let my foundation sit on my face for about like 2 minutes and then I blend it out with a beauty blender. Now that my makeup has been sitting on my face for about two minutes, I'm just going to blend it out with the bottom part of my beauty blender. You just want to blend it out everywhere and even blend it out a little bit below your jawline because you really want to look even. You want to actually look like you have an even skin complexion from your face all the way down to your neck. So now that we have an even skin complexion, our eyebrows is on, everything is should pop in, we're now going to contour and highlight. So first things first, I love to highlight, so of course I'm going to highlight first. The method that I use to highlight on my face is, um, I do dot highlighting. So what you want to do is make five or four, five or six dots below your eyeball. I make two rows. So second row, I just do two dots. Then after that, I do the same to the other side. When you highlight, you want to pick a shade that's about two shades lighter or even three shades lighter than your skin tone. This is me personally. I like a bright highlight, so I do go a little bit overboard with it. So, yeah, I just, I think I went about like four shades lighter than my skin tone. Maybe more. Who knows? So next what you're going to do is take your pointy part of your beauty blender and just blend it out. This part is just like my favorite part. Like, just love to look highlighted. So the pointy part of your beauty blender is just the best tool to use underneath your eyes because one is pointed and it can really get into your eye. And when you're blending your under eye highlighter, you know, you don't just want to blend it out right here and then it just looks light right here. You just want to typically take it a little bit up there towards your temple and just keep blending it out until your skin looks even. Now that you have highlighted your under eye, you want to highlight the bridge of your nose as well. Just draw a little simple line. You also want to highlight underneath your nose, your chin. And also the middle of your forehead, right here. Now that you have highlighted, of course you want to contour. So I'm going to go on my e.l.f. palette in the color Deep. And I'm going to go in the deepest shade. 
going to take my contouring brush and just create a little line on my cheek. So I'm going to make a small, small contouring line right where my cheekbone is. Mm, low key. Low key. literally the smallest line so small you could barely see it and I'm gonna do the same on the other side now that I have contour I'm just gonna blend it out with a big fat foundation brush now that we have highlighted contoured of course we're going to apply powder whenever you use a cream product you always want to set it with a powder so later on in the day it doesn't become streaky and you don't look sweaty especially from my girls with oily skin you don't want to look sweaty so you just want to set it with powder so now i'm going to take my ruby kisses hd set it and forget it um setting powder and i'm going to set my face and this is the color banana I love to say banana, I'm so corny. Banana, banana, banana. Banana. Now with this step, especially, you do not want to overdo it because that's how you get a flashback and you don't want to look like a ghost when people take pictures of you with their flash on. So what you're gonna do is take the pointed part of your damp beauty blender, move it around the product, go a little bit side to side. I blow it off after because I don't like all that powder to be on my beauty blender. So now you're just going to take the powder and apply it right underneath your eye. Mm. And you really don't want to press in a lot because you don't want, again, you don't want a lot of powder to be underneath your eye. Like right there is a lot kind of messed up. But everything else is that's fine and you're gonna do the same to all your other highlighted areas you know your nose your forehead top lip your chin you're just gonna repeat the step do it to the other parts of your face now while we have the setting powder on our face we're just gonna sit here and let it bake baking is when you let translucent powder you know just sit on your face for like five to ten minutes and what it does is allow the heat from your face set your foundation your concealer everything and then after the five ten minutes is up you dust it off with um a fluffy brush whatever brush that <laughs> with a fluffy brush or whatever brush that you choose and creates a creaseless flawless face like you're just gonna have a flawless finish with no creases or anything so as we're baking we're going to apply lashes. I like to apply lashes while it's baking because it just kills time. The eyelashes that I'm going to use today is the Vegas Nay Elore Lashes in the name of Easy Elegance. Yeah. Are you serious? Sorry, I just had a little bit of a doozy this is why i hate using ardell eyelash glue so what you want to do is apply eyelash glue to your lash band and have it sit there for about 30 to 40 seconds and then as you see the lash band has gotten tacky you want to apply it to your eyelid Me personally, I like to apply eyelashes with my fingers, but that's another tutorial in itself. Now that we have our eyelashes on, you just want to dust it away with um, a fluffy brush. Any fluffy brush, as long as it's fluffy, it's okay. In this video, I'm just going to use um, Elf Angle Fluffy Brush and just dust everything away. Okay, now that you have dusted away all your powder, you're going to take a darker powder, typically used for all over the face, and guess what? Dust your face with powder and put it all over your face. So this is just going to set all the other areas that you did not bake with. I don't like to use a lot of powder all over my face, so I typically just use the powder that's left over on the top, and I just swirl it around you know blow it off and just 
and just dust it all around my face. Just setting all those areas I did not bake. Because you don't want to look sweaty. You don't want to look like a grease monkey. Just want to put this everywhere. Okay, now that you're done with setting your face and apply any blush to your face just to really bring back that color that you kind of lost by putting just, you know, just by contouring and highlighting, you would put back the color on your cheeks. So I'm going to use the color Jet Setter and I'm just going to apply that to my cheeks. And I'm just going to bring it up a little bit to my temple. So I am a blush type of girl, so after I've, I have applied that blush, I'm going to apply another blush, but this is a baked blush, and it's in the color Passion Pink by e.l.f. I'm just going to top that. I love these blushes because they're so just so natural, and I just love blushes that are in different shades of pink. Now that we have applied our blush, now you could add your highlight. Again, this um, tip, well, next step right here is optional. I just like to have like an extra glow because I'm dramatic. So, yeah, I just like to add an extra glow. This is actually um, NYX Roll-On Shimmer. I think it's so freaking pretty. This is um, this is just shimmer that you can apply anywhere. Your face, your body, your neck, wherever. I just added to um, my cheeks and then I added down here to my bone structure down there. I forgot what it's called. <gasps> but yeah, I added up here. I'm just going to take a blush brush and just smooth it out, you know. Really get a, take away that harsh line that I just drew. Mm, low key. Yeah, I'm back now. Also going to apply this roll-on shimmer to the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose, and the top of my lip. Now for the second to last step, which is also one of my favorite steps, I'm going to do the lips. So now I'm going to overline my lips to give the appearance of bigger lips. I don't know, I'm just such a fan of having bigger lips. No matter what color I do, my lips, I always overline it with a brown. Because my lips are brown, like brown and pink, and I'm African American, I have darker skin, so I always just outline my lips with a brown to give the illusion that my lips are actually this big. So now I'm gonna take my Kylie Jenner, what's this called? My Kylie Jenner Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Ginger, and just fill it in, just like coloring a book. Just gonna fill in this shape right here. I love this color. Quickly, really just take the tip of my applicator and just blend it in with the dark brown line that I just drew with my lip liner. Cause I like it to just look like. I just like it to have an ombre effect. Now that I have added that color, I love to do ombre lips. So I'm going to take another color and a shade, a couple of shades lighter. And I'm just going to put that on the middle of my lips. <laughs> now, for our last step of this glamorous basic 101 look we're just going to set our face with this elf makeup missing set you're just gonna hold it a couple of feet away from your face and then you're just gonna cream it. but then you're just gonna wait for your setting spray to dry and then you'll be all done <laughs> 